A lot of stuff that happens in the kitchen impacts our health. Matter of fact, most of the stuff that happens in our health is coming generated from what we do in our kitchens or out to eat in a restaurant or whatever because it's what we are basically what we eat and how we eat. And so that one of the things you need to know is that when you're considering health issues, Today I decided to make a, a beet and apple salad because I can tell from little symptoms I'm having that my liver is having a little distress right now. I'm starting to show little liver spots on my skin. I'm not uh, I'm going through hay fever and allergies again. And usually those are symptoms that the liver is a little bit congested. And so today I'm going to just simply use food to help my liver get better. And I'm going to be using this beautiful red beet that I'm going to be grating up. And um, I'm going to put a little V slicer here. And to that, we're going to add some Granny Smith apples. These are all organic because when you're trying to cleanse your body from something that you're struggling with, you want to make sure that you're using organic products because there's no sense in trying to get toxins out if you're putting them right back in in the foods that you're dealing with. So these little beets are a little bit tough, so they're harder to, to deal with. But the liver responds very well to the combination of beet and apple. And this is actually a salad I learned to make a long time ago and didn't know it was healthy. I just thought it tasted good. But I read recently that a real gentle cleanse that you can do for your liver is to do beet and apples with lemon juice and olive oil. And when I saw that, I thought, oh my goodness, that's one of my favorite salads anyway. So doing it every day for 30 days is what's recommended if you're actually using it as a liver cleanse. Or you can just enjoy it once, once or twice a week. Some people object to the strong taste of beets. But frankly, the more you do it, the more it grows on you and the better it tastes. So some of the things I didn't think I liked at first, I found out if I give them a chance and try them two or three times, I get a much better uh, result with it. And I start to, to really enjoy it as I expose my tongue to the taste more and more. So this is just about equal parts of beet and apple. You could put a little more apple in if you like using Granny Smith apples because they have a, a little bit more of a tart, pungent taste, which is pleasant in the salad, overcoming the sweetness of the beet. There we go, and then we're going to put the juice of one lemon in on that and mix it up with a little olive oil as a dressing. And have a nice, healthy salad. Don't tell anybody, but it's cleansing my liver at the same time. Pour this over. Okay, a little olive oil here. Extra virgin olive oil, cold pressed. And we just mix that up. You see, it turns into a pretty pink salad. Turns our apples pink. Now, if you want to pick the flavor up just a tad, you could put a dash of sea salt in, which is what I'm going to do. A little dash, just to bring the flavors up. Okay, let's taste this. Delicious. I want to encourage you to consider that what you prepare in your kitchen can be a source of health, almost like medicine for your family, but it can really taste good. Be creative. Look for all the ways that you can incorporate all those great nutrients in. Help your body at the same time that you're tantalizing your taste buds. Thanks for joining me.